Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. How is everybody doing today? My name is Rick Jr. And today we start a monumental adventure. I was thinking to myself the other day, I've never actually completed Minecraft on vanilla. Like, I've never killed the dragon and got the end credits. Well, that changes in this season. I also want a challenge, so I'm going to be doing all of this in hardcore mode. So if you guys don't know what hardcore Minecraft is, it pretty much means if we die in the game, our sanity in the world gets deleted with the death. Everything we've done, all those countless hours, building our civilization ruined in an instant. Let's just hope I don't make any silly mistakes. Not only are we starting this world in hardcore, but we couldn't be starting at a better time. On November the 30th, Minecraft released Caves and Cliffs Part 2, which brought revamped overworld generations, including new caves and mountains. Let's go ahead and create our new world. And we are going to go ahead and name this Utopia. A uh, little play on words there with YouTube and Utopia. Um, as you guys can hear, I am a little bit ill at the moment. Uh, my voice is about to go, but I really wanted to put out this video. So I put aside a couple of hours just so that we could go ahead and do so. So we've set everything to hardcore. Uh, don't want any starting world. We're going to go to the seed options. I want to create a seed so that if you guys want to go ahead and play, you guys can just create the seed yourself and play along with us. So we'll name the seed uh, for the seed generator Utopia Space number one. Let's go ahead and create this world and see where we start off. That is an insane start. Are you being serious? Like, we start. We have literally started in a village. And people say this hardcore thing is hard. Oh, like, what? Why? And this guy goes ahead and drops us a brand new iron shovel. Uh, I don't know what type of luck that is, but uh, managed to pull out some major luck to start off this season. It just means that if we would like, we can create our house and our home over here in the desert. Not, not something that I really like to do, but oh, this guy has some nice trades. Nine emeralds for some bookshelves definitely keep him on our side and there's nine bookshelves here as well now i know that they get a little bit annoyed if you steal but i think i'm gonna have to for some silly reason i had auto jump on but uh right so i mean this is looking okay this is looking okay starting straight away in the village i don't know what he's gonna get uh, annoyed at me for taking because i know like i said they get annoyed if I steal some things here, but we're going to go around. I'm just going to see if there's any chests in any of these houses. And I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to ransack all of this stuff. I think I'm going to take the chest as well. Now I have some really big plans for this. I have some huge build plans. What is this? A loom. I don't even know what that does, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Okay, so this guy has a, a couple of bread and a couple of cactus. Not something that we're really going to be needing straight away. Oh, that fell down the stairs. Just quickly take a look over this peak here and see what we're dealing with. So that's some really mad terrain generation at the moment. I can see like loads of iron all the way up there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just get down to the bottom here and I'm going to go looking for, oh, Mr. Endy Man has picked up a block. I don't really think I want to be dealing with him right now. Uh, are you good, bro? You having trouble? I'm just going to smile and wave. We're going to go ahead and pick up all of this wheat here. I, I'm just I'm just hoping that the iron golem doesn't start hitting me randomly because I'm stealing his stuff. And I'm pretty sure if we could find somebody trading wheat for emeralds. Why am I using my spade to pick this up? I 
Now, while we're picking this up, I don't actually know where I want to start our house. I really don't want to base it in this. I don't want to base it in this village, just due to the fact that it is kind of a broken village. The traders are not all that. I think we can find something better. That looks like a huge cave down there. And this is some of the uh, the new ores that came out, the copper ores. I don't know uh, if it actually has any use, but I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to build something with it a little bit later on down the line. Right, so now uh, what we're going to do... We're... There's a house up there. I've got to see if it's got a nice chest in. Okay, there's nothing up here. Nice view. Uh, maybe we... Did we look over there? I think we did. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go and find a place for us to kind of settle. I don't really want to steal anything else from this village. We've got enough. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go in. Ooh. Now that looks sick. I don't know what that is. I think it's a coral field. But that looks really cool. Oh, there's a ship there. No way. Right, okay, let's get somewhere safe. Um, oh! What's going on? Man, the ocean's dangerous, man. Uh, what is that? Oh, they're fishes. Right, let's uh, let's quickly dive down here, see if we can find any any stuff. Oh no! I'm going to drown. Okay, I I don't know if there's a chest down here or not. I would love to come back here, though, and pick up the coral uh, when we've got ourselves situated. I'm just going to go down for one more dive and see if I can find anything. Let me just eat one of these breads. Well, we're in the water, so I guess it's soggy bread, right? Right, one last try and see if... Aha! Okay, suspicious stews, couple of cactus, couple of uh, carrots. Okay, so n nothing real interesting. Ow. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that. I, I'm, oh no! I'm gonna guess there was probably another chest in there, but I'm not gonna risk looking for it right now. I just want to get ourselves situated and. Uh, find a place that we can call home. So while we're running here, I'm going to pick up a couple of wood. This new update, the caves and cliffs update. I have tried it down a few like a few times and it looks insane. But I think our first build needs to be just a plain old boring house. I'll try and put my own personal touch on it, obviously. I don't want to just make it out of wood. But we need to find a nice place for it. Somewhere with loads of animals. Somewhere with maybe a few horses. Because this whole kingdom, this civilization that I want to build in this world. I want it. Wow. We picked a really good place to spawn. Uh, this whole place, I want to build it off of uh, maybe Camelot. I, I like that idea a lot. So uh, maybe build a couple of things found in Camelot back in that, you know, the centuries that Camelot roamed. I'm going to pick up all this sugar cane as well because we'll eventually need paper. So now what I want you guys to do is if you have any ideas on what you guys think we should build, as long as it kind of fits in with the criteria, throw your suggestions in the comment section on YouTube. Oh, we've got a couple of sheep here. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a crafting table. And grab ourselves our first. We'll make all of this into planks. Uh, a couple of sticks. And we'll make an axe, because I think the axe is the best thing for combat. And it is coming on to night time already, I think. So we really need to... I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Right, okay, so let's quickly just build ourselves a bed. Uh, we're not really going to be sleeping anywhere tonight other than under the trees. Wait, where did my crafting table go? Did I pick it up? Oh, I did.
There we are. We can take this with us because it doesn't really matter if uh, we, we, we're in a house or not. If we die, that's it. So uh, every everything that we've done up to that point is gone. So let's go ahead and there's some more sugar cane over here. So we're going to hop. No. Well, if that was a parkour course, that would have gone very wrong very quickly. Let's pick up the rest of this sugar cane and then I am going to... We've got loads to start off. We'll be able to maybe start a sugarcane farm nice and early. Didn't think uh, sugarcane spawned so often. Maybe they up the spawn rate. I don't know. I have heard that uh, in this version now, with Minecraft being the way that it is, they've changed the way diamonds spawn. So no more mi uh, vein mining, is it? You can't just mine down and that's good enough now. Which pretty much changes the whole game. I don't know how rare or how easy it is to get diamonds nowadays, but... We already managed to pick up 78 sugarcane, which is uh, an insane amount. Usually you struggle for sugarcane straight away. That looks really good up there. I can't really see it because of my, uh, my generation. But these are some of the insane caves and cliffs that uh, the, the new update bought. I hear lava somewhere. Now, I don't know if we need to, but before we actually go, maybe pick up some of these. Uh, the, the, I think they're cocoa. I don't know what they'd be good for, but if we just take a few of them just in case. Now, I don't have my webcam on in this video. However, it will be on in the future. I think I mentioned in one of my Retro Wednesday videos of my Pokemon Yellow playthrough that there will eventually be a camera. I'm just, with the fact that I'm ill at the moment and, and I don't exactly look very good, uh, I think it's best that we, we leave the webcam off for the time being. There is a used, I think that's a used uh, nether pool. So we're just going to go over here and see if there's any nice things that we can pull out of here. Ooh, some feather falling four boots. I'll take those and we'll throw those straight on. Uh, got some flint and some iron nuggets. 34 iron nuggets. What's that? Lightweight pressure plate and a fire charge. Um, I'm going to get rid of this chest as well. I'll take this with us. This is just so that if we do come back here and we find this again... There's no chest here, so I know I've looted it. Right, I think I saw a panda down here, to be honest. It was just a normal black and white panda. Oh, there he is. I think he likes... Wait, what? There's a zombie there. Where did you come from? No. 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 I can only punch you with bread. And an axe. Now, I don't actually know how to make the panda love you. I don't know if you can. You know, like other animals, if you want to get a dog, you give it a bone, uh, a bone to a wolf. Maybe. Is it bamboo? Let's try and give a bamboo to a uh, good old panda over here. Oh, does that mean you're going to follow me? That is so cool. Oh, it's, oh, there you go. He's eating again. I don't know if he follows me or not. If he follows me, that will be pretty cool because we'll be able to take him over. I think he might have a, a, a little bit of a hard time navigating through this. Seeing as I'm going to have a hard time doing it myself. We'll pick up some of this uh, watermelon as well. Just for the fact that uh, I wouldn't mind making a watermelon farm eventually as well. Right, we have we have 48 more watermelon slices, so I think that's plenty for us for the time being. I just need to find a nice place for us to put our house now. Now, this is a great example of the new Caves and Cliffs update. Look at that. That is insane. That's huge. What are they? Okay, we'll go down this way. What are these? Oh. That doesn't sound too happy. Uh, 
Wait, what was that? A glow ink sack. So I don't know if that's rare or not. But we're gonna we're gonna kill these guys and, and pick up what they had. I'm sure there was another one, but he seems to have disappeared. We got four glow ink sacks. Uh while we're actually down here, we might as well pick up the starting tool. So let me just quickly get on that. Okay, so second night we're sleeping here. We've managed to get ourselves the starting upgrades that we need. Just some simple stone tools. But while we are here, I would like to pick up all of this coal and iron. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Silly me, uh, while I was actually getting the stone, I created a stone spade. Forgetting that I had an iron one. Uh, which is, uh, yeah. So we're just going to keep it for the time being. We'll drop it if we don't need it a little bit later on in the future. I'm going to pick up all of this coal. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up the iron as well. And then I will get back to you once it's smelted up. Ooh, our first piece of iron. Right, there you go. So that's all of that done. Uh, I'm just going to throw the raw mutton in there to cook. Because uh, one of the coal was used as a little bit of an added extra. What we are going to do with our first set of iron bars is I'm going to make iron tools out of them. Now, I know it being hardcore, we should probably get ourselves some iron armor but i think i i'm gonna be a lot more uh better off getting myself some iron tools here well we we still have five bars left so we can get ourselves an iron helmet let's go ahead and uh look at that flat cap cap on i like it we've got gold booties and an iron helmet right they're all cooked let's get out of here There's a sneaky piece of iron here, just by the, uh, the waterfall that I nearly missed. Now, there is still so much in Minecraft that I've never seen. I know that uh, you can find a... Is it a mansion? A haunted mansion in the dark oak biome? Um, they're, they're, I've, I've never actually ran into one of those. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. I'm, I'm I'm very sorry if that offends anybody. <laughs> oh, donkey. Lovely donkey. I don't think there was any need for me to kill the donkey. I, I, I don't know if any of you agree, but uh, I think that was a little bit over the top, and I apologize in advance for my actions. We're going to go and run uh, this direction. I, it looks like there's a Sahara type of desert over here. And hopefully we can find a sustainable place for us to start our civilization. Now, I kind of understand some streamers, what they do, they like to uh, test seeds uh, before they make their world. Streamers, YouTubers, they both do the same. But for me, I want it to be a brand new world that, you know, I haven't experienced in any way. I don't know where anything is. And we go exploring. That's That's kind of, for me, that's the fundamentals of Minecraft. It's you explore, you enjoy it. And you have fun. Now, obviously, we've ran into this kind of problem now where I'm looking for the perfect place to lay our house down. There is another ship over there. So I'm going to quickly go and loot it. And hopefully we can get ourselves either a treasure map or something nice. 
we do have like a full inventory right now of random stuff that we oh i don't know what that was but there is i think there's a guy near me uh a drowned victim oh take those oh no Panic! Don't want to be drowning while we're down there. That is a good amount of stuff. 11 iron ingots. Right, so I'm just going to pick a direction. And we're going to go in that direction. And I will find our place to start. No freaking way! Are you joking me? This is insane! Look at the size of it! We literally were talking about this earlier on during the episode, and what do we find? We find the one thing I've never found, ever, while playing Minecraft. Now, I, I, I'm pretty sure this place is super, super dangerous, but this is my new house. This is where... We are having our house. Now, I don't know uh, just how dangerous dangerous is. But this is pretty much a, a pre-built mansion. This is definitely where we're having our house. So, this uh, first episode is going to be super exciting. Uh, due to the fact that I'm going to go ransack this house and see what we could do with it. I am, I've got 11 iron ingots. Uh, we still need a plate body which requires 3, 6, and 8. And plate legs that require seven, so it's fifteen. I have eleven plus one, so it's twelve. Yeah, we don't have enough uh, for full armor, but we have enough for a shield. So I think we should be fine. So I'm gonna get myself set up here, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna go and see our new home. Now this thing is crazy huge, and I don't even know what to expect. I see skeletons wandering about on the inside. I don't want to destroy a single part of this house, though. And I'm pretty sure you can find, like, huge libraries in here. So that would completely get rid of the need of, uh, you know, libraries. But this thing is, like, the biggest thing I've ever seen auto-created in Minecraft. And this is a really nice place. We're right next to an ocean as well. I just really hope I don't die in this place. So we've got an easy way in here. I'm going to actually go in down the bottom here. There is a... Oh, it's a tree room. Right, okay. I want to put the, the, the things back. Actually... Might be a really good idea for us to get some torches. Give me a sec. Okay, so what I've done, I've just thrown in a load of the stuff that I don't currently need while I am in there. Because I want to be able to pick up loot. So we're going to throw this stuff in here. I'm then going to go ahead and go back in. I can hear zombies already. I don't know if they're up a floor or down a floor or what. Okay, so I think this one's safe. Let's just go ahead and light all of this up. Wow, this is a set alone room on its own. So this is safe. This is safe. So we have our first chest. An efficiency one iron axe. There is an upgrade. I like it. Let's uh, let's take out this tree. And uh, I'm pretty sure you could just replant the tree in the exact same spot. This is a really cool way to get wood as well. Now, what I am going to do is just, uh, I'm going to block this back up. I don't want monsters coming in from both ways. So, I don't know uh, what way we're supposed to be going here, but I guess we'll just go this, that way? Yeah, we'll go this way. Uh, so, first, oh. I see you up there. I see you. 
They hear you. And I can hear your friend. Hey, Jimmy. Ugh. Got a cobblestone in his hand. He's going to brick me. Okay, so we got uh, his friend as well. I really don't know how large this place is, but I really... Uh, oh, that guy looks really dangerous. And he is accompanied by a friend. Now, I don't know what to do here. Do I just run for it? I can't, yeah, I don't have a bow or an arrow, and we don't have the string for it either. And I'm pretty sure this guy can hit a lot. Could make it to the next room and block ourselves in. We need to take out this whole place. This kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead, having to clear rooms one at a time. Okay, so because that guy's down there, we're going to actually go a different way here. I'm going to go this way instead. Oh, wow. Uh, hello, Mr. Creeper. And there's one of those really strong guys in there too. Oh my god, there's so many chests in this room. Okay, we took out the the major threats. Where's this other guy? I can hear him humping and pumping. Oh, I killed him. Okay, so like I said, one room at a time, we're blocking off this door. Okay, we're safe for the time being. Let's see what we've got in these chests. Oh. Looks like somebody's ransacked this chest room before me. Not a single item in any of the chests. I guess that it's just a nice setup for a chest room. <coughs> okay, so I see a wall block here. Nice monster spawner there. I could just. Ooh! Little guy dropped an emerald. I'll take that. Light blue. Okay, there's another room done. I don't know what this room is. It's just got a load of random uh, wool in it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick up this wool. I don't know what's the easiest way, way to do it. Is it shears? We don't actually have access to shears. So, I guess I'm just going to punch it. Right, so that's that room completely uh, rinsed of the materials. We've got 19 cyan wall, 55 light blue wall, and 46 dark blue wall. We need to go to the next location. We've been going this way, so I think we're going to kind of stick to this. Oh, that does not look good. Is there anybody that side? I don't want to risk going out there if there is. 
This place does not look good. I don't know what's in here. I think this is the prison. This is a really cool place for a prison. I didn't even know they had these places in here. We, need, we definitely need to be lighting up these prison rooms. No, I, I need that back. Need to make sure nothing spawns anywhere. What's in this one? This is like the largest prison cell. This is for, this is for the prisoner that likes to bribe the people living there. Right, okay, so we've lit up all of that. So there is no going that way now, because I think that is the end of there. But I hate to do it to you dudes. We're actually going to go ahead and end here. Uh, I think we're going to leave the huge exploration of the rest of this huge mansion to the next episode. It'll give you guys something to look forward to. And if you did manage to watch till this point in the episode, if you could just do me a huge favor, give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are absolute beasts. Thank you so much for all the support. And I will see you guys for episode two. Bye.